a little bit of a snowy morning and I did get my window cleaned off as much as I'm going to get cleaned off whoops Move my mask it was ugly <laughs> I kind of started a video thing I haven't put it together yet of what did I find today because I'm always kind of running around looking at things and look at this beautiful little brass lamp I found. That is really a cute one. It's perfect there too. And I did kind of clean up my window, not very much. I had all those seeds and I took those away, but I still got my rocks and I still got my wood. And let's see, more rocks over here. But anyways, so that's as much changes as I got in. Hopefully, this will just fall very lightly. Beautiful out. I love it when there's nobody around. On the lake now, we're getting busy. You know, people are coming out and enjoying all those nice winter sports. I don't look forward to the winter, but actually the time goes really fast. Gets to. After a while, your life goes faster and faster. And so, I mean, it's almost over work with now. My finger, it's been a, four weeks on Friday, and it's just starting to kind of feel a little bit normal. <laughs> but I'm, that's, you know, it's taking out my whole winter, it seems. It's mid-January already. February, March is spring. It's only two more finger events. <laughs> How about that? All right, I'm, I'm gonna do more later, just to, just, this is my first part of the morning. All right. Well, I talked about making a video of uh, showing you the things I found when I was out thrifting. And let's see if I can get the light on this. I just found this cute little lamp and it's brass and it's got little beads here at night when the light's on, shines through, that's really cute. So I found that, and I found some other things also. The day is nice out, the wind is blowing, no storm, everything's good. And I also will probably, or I am going to incorporate in this video, uh, video on what I just got at the Coach and Kate Spade, and um, a little small black leather good collection I have and here I'll start off with this is the first uh, uh, thing I'll show you is the coach kiss lock the Nora kiss lock coin purse but I was going to show hold on what happened to the other with the uh, dooney the black dooney I have hold on okay there it is I was going to compare these two and just kind of show you the other small things that I have. Um, hold on, I want to put this in the tripod. Hold on. Okay. Um, I was so excited. I went to the Coach Outlet last week, I think it was, a few days ago, and there this was on the uh, clearance table, and it was 70 plus 20% off. And I've just grabbed it really quick and I, and I it was a return or else it wouldn't have been there but I wanted to show you the difference between compare the the Dooney I've got the the ostrich in the black uh, Dooney kiss lock now I want to make sure I got my personal papers out of here let's see what was the price I paid for this um, 3107 I think 
So it was, no, 62, I had a credit. Must have been, oh, I don't even know if it was, it was 57. Isn't that something I don't even, can't even tell what I read. Because I used, I had a credit. Oh, it was $41, I believe. Oops, sorry. Oh, complicated. But I really like it. It opens really wide. It has a like microfiber interior. It's big. It's easy to get in. And the leather is fabulous. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now I'll show you the dooney. Here's the dooney. And now this is the embossed ostrich leather. It has the logo plate. And I haven't used this either. So we'll take the stuffing out. Um, first thing you'll notice, this one in the compartment has card cases. Let's try and get it in the light. Um, but it doesn't open as much and open as wide as the coach. So the coach is definitely more user-friendly. So I haven't used this because it's pretty tight. I haven't used a lot of my things. Now, hold on. I got another one to show you. Hold on. This one. Zoom that right in. This is the Vera Bradley. And this one also. Let's take out the receipt there. Opens pretty good. And you can get in there. And with this one, when I figured out why the coach is so nice, is because it has this extra material right here. If you have the give right here, you can get in there really nice. Whereas with this one too, if it had more give here and not so tight when you opened it, you have more space here. But anyway, so that's my big deduction on my Kiss Locks. And I love this one. This one scores. This coach, it beats. Sorry, Dooney. But for what I want and need it for and comfort and of use, this is the best. This is hard to get into. This is pretty and everything matches. Depends on what you use them for. A lot of times people use the small leather goods as a um, billfold instead of a traditional um, billfold. And um, so whatever. I just collect my stuff. It seems like, like I said, I've had this for a while and have, have not used it. Had this also. And one day... <laughs> I'll get more organized. This is the uh, Colch wristlet in the debossed. Um, I have this in another color, and I think it was, uh, what was the name of it? Platinum? There's kind of a yellow color, not yellow, but like a, a mustard, real light mustard. Eh, not even that, but... Um, and then a really off-white one like the chalk almost. And that's the bit of birchwood. And that's the better color, I think. Because the one I have in the light, not quite what I'd like. but So I have this one in the black, and that's nice. I have this hobo in the black wallet. And I'm using my red one like this now. But what's happened in the bottom of my purse, my red one's got all my money stuffed in here and my cards, a lot of card slots, cards in the back and in the front and in the side, a lot of stuff going on. And so it sits in my wallet. I can't snap it. So now it's sitting flush like this. So that's the drawback with, with this type of wallet. You just, you know, some people clean out their wallets every night. I don't. Mine must go 
right now I need to is because I've got a lot of receipts and cash sitting in it. Leftover cash. This is a bigger hobo. Got nice soft leather. And you'll see I've only used this maybe once or twice. And look at it. I've already got a mark there. And that's from storage. That's because the leather is so thin. It's nice, smooth, but thin. And this has got a little back pocket. And that nice magnetic. I've been seeing at the um, Nordstrom Outlet. They have a lot of hobos. And they have it in a bigger size. And they've got a black. I, do they have a black? They have a gold that I'm interested in. I thought they had a teal blue. But I think it's $65. And of course I'm waiting for it to go cheaper. I just haven't been spending much money at all lately. And um, I'd like to have that wallet. To have it I guess. Because I haven't used this one very much. But um, this would be nice to use. How much was this one? Oh no that's 22 That was the one like this in red I got was 22 And how much did I pay for this one? Let's see if I can find it. Whoops. I guess I can't. What was this it? What's this one say? Twenty two forty nine. I just dropped one. It was probably the right price. Can't find it. Okay, so I don't remember what I paid for that one. Then I love these coin key holders, coin purse they call them from Dooney. This is the black on black with no brown trim. Um, black, black is black and black. The black is black with brown trim. Um, but I love the black, black on black, and this is... I've got a green one like this and a oyster, I believe it's the light one. And I think I might like more, um, but we'll see what colors. And they have, I'd like to really experiment or experiment, get a Wex, something in Wexford leather. Wexford, I want to feel what that feels like. The Safiano leather to me from Dooney is just too, too hard, doesn't give enough. So I stay away from that. Because this is something similar to, I think this is a cross grain or Safiano. Is it even real leather? Let's see. I don't remember what it is. Might not even be real leather. <laughs> Let's see. I got it at, it says genuine leather. And I got this at the rack for $8.75. That's Nordstrom Rack. That's the kind of sale I like, you see. And this is 14th Union, and it has a keychain. And it's very nice. Just a couple cards and your money and your keys. Put your ID in there. But, oh, and it has a little back slot here. So this, this will be very good when I use it someday. It will come in handy, I think. Okay, did I go through all those? Yeah. Okay, so the winner is this. Then I was going to... Oh, wait, I got something else. From when I was at Kate Spade. This was on there, 70% off. And I think it was $54. And it was 70% off. And then you take another 20% off. So 7 times... Let's see, paying 30% of 5 is 15 Oh, wow, $15. And then... Uh, take two bucks off that. So I got this for $12. Boy, that's a score. This is um, from their winter holiday collection. And it's shiny. And I've got um, a black makeup bag. But this is, this is nice. This is smaller. I like the way it fits in the hand. And if you just want to put in your lipstick and your your mascara. I usually, when I was going out with makeup on, I would have my mascara, my eyeshadow, my face stuff, my blush on, an extra roller for my front bangs to get it curly if it fell apart, some little hair clips, um, my eyeshadow and brushes. I already mentioned that. What else do I stuff in there? Oh, a little pill container for extra pill. Um, it wouldn't all fit in here. My brushes wouldn't fit in here. But in for a smaller bag, I think it would be working good for a smaller bag. So that's what else I got. 
And this, I've shown this to you before. This is the um, Patricia Nash in that beautiful print. I think it's Wildflowers. And it's a corner zip, I believe. See, it goes on the side and it's small. And that really works nice for access, ease of access. And this is Patricia Nash, beautiful inside. Um, how much should I pay for that? Let's see. $16.99 at TJ Maxx. Oh, and it's, oh, what's that regularly? $29? Boy, that wasn't a very big discount then. Oop, I'm losing everything. Um, sunrise, Citrus Sunrise. Well, whatever. I always expect it to cost more. Okay, I keep dropping everything out of my little, that uh, must have been my receipt out of that one. Okay. Then, the other thing is my resale stuff that I found. I showed you the lamp, and this I got for like a quarter or something. And it's got some missing uh, mirrors, and I got to be careful so the thing doesn't cut me after my finger cut. I'm so paranoid of everything. But it's just pretty, and for like a quarter, it's good. And when I, oops, see, I got my bracelets in there. Like when I come home sometime, I like to just throw them in. These little containers help to keep them dry before I put them away in their plastic. Okay, and finds. What did I find? I found a couple more books. We got a lot of garden books, and I know how to garden. But I thought this book was, uh, it had some good tips in here. Um, volumes of veggies, the perfect perennials, and more in bul beautiful bulbs. Right now I'm interested in the uh, uh, vegetables. And uh, they got trees and house plants and pesky p pests. But I'm looking to, um, you know, grow food, I guess is what I've got on my mind. And here it says, enjoying care. enjoy carrots during autumn and winter. Just rig up a compact root cellar. Five-gallon bucket. Oh, put, oh, you put your har newly harvested carrots. Put the lid on. Hmm. I suppose, what's that for? To leave them outside for, to store them? Hmm. Well, anyways, different little... Just little tidbits that I don't know or have not heard about. So, um, yeah, the food deal is, uh, um, I think, going to be an important thing. I mean, we all want to eat good food, and if you can grow it in your garden and it won't cost as much and <laughs> taste better because you control it, control the water, you're in control of your food, but... I don't know. I did some, just a little bit of vegetables, of course, you know. You know, had some tomatoes and peppers, and I didn't eat half of them. We had a storm. <laughs> right when the harvest was approaching, we had a storm, and I had to go out of town for three days, or four, right during that whole period. So everything kind of got detoured for me. But I did get some to eat, so that was good. Okay, and another book I got that seems pretty good is uh, Slaves in the Family by Edward Ball. And this is about a guy whose parents had plantations in the South. And it's kind of like a genealogy because it has to do with the families that lived there, the families that were slaves and the owners. And it's a lot of genealogy. And this guy has met the other families and some of them were, you know, of course, some people were related to him. And um, it's kind of like a genealogy. They did the genealogy. I haven't read it yet, but it seems pretty interesting. I like genealogy a lot. So I'm interested to read this one. And what else did I get at the sale? I picked these up probably for gifts, too. This is like a little... Uh, um, old photo, it's a photo album. Kind of cool, isn't it? Beautiful, actually. Now, 
and there's no price or anything on that. Um, of course, I picked this stuff up for, I think, a buck or something. Well worth it, huh? And then I got a couple of address books. Beautiful flowers. Gorgeous. Oh, my God, that's beautiful, too. And that's address book. You don't see nothing else there. And then this one here is a little bit bigger, but on the same idea. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Comes with a pencil. An address book when you have from your 20s and keep it going. Okay. Uh, you know, at this point... I think these are beautiful. Okay, what else did I get now at the sale? I got a bunch of 100% uh, cotton kitchen kitchen uh, cloths. And I love waffle cotton because it's so absorbent. And this one is just gorgeous. Look how happy and cheerful that one is. I've got red I can match with that. Happy, happy. I found a, looks like a vintage. What is this? Part linen, linen and cotton. Cotton and 25% linen. You know, linen is a wonderful, wonderful fabric. I love linen clothes. It's like 100% cotton. So this is older. This is for your Mexican party. Gorgeous stuff happy to find I get a lot of stuff you know you go to these sales I keep saying and the stuff just kind of accumulates especially if you don't wear it out I try not to wear things out um, and what are, oh the polka dots some green and red and these are like dish cloths they're 100% cotton uh, made in India 100% cotton and you can't go wrong with cotton. And I love it when they have these little tags to, to hang them on, hooks. And the problem is, is I don't wipe a lot of dishes. Um, so, and I don't like to get them coffee stained. So I'll just kind of put them in the drawer and, and have them. <laughs> and use them sparingly. And then I found this one. And this is kind of cute. This is a... English one and I thought I'd send this one to Lori because Lori and Sophie because she does a lot of tea and she has her English side and she has her English cheap pot so I think I'm going to put that in the mail and send that to her okay is there anything else I got I haven't showed you lately I think that's it and I'll keep you posted on the things I find and that's what I do. Oh, did I have one more book here, I think? Let me see. I got a well, I've had some really good cookbooks. Let me see. Did I get a new cookbook that I haven't showed you? Hold on, let me go look. Well, I found this book. It's not a cookbook, but it's Van Gogh's Women. And it's his love affairs and journey into madness. And it's got pictures. And so this I thought would be really interesting because I don't know that much about Van Gogh, but he does have beautiful work, beautiful stuff. And I think he was a little troubled. And um, I read some quote early on here. I don't know who wrote it. Did he write it? Hmm. Well, here's a quote of his. I cannot live without love without a woman. Well, the world goes round. Something, this other quote I saw, and I don't know who wrote it and how old they were. Van Gogh did not live till very long. He lived to 40 something or other. But I thought this was kind of interesting. It talks about his background, his family, of course, his early childhood, his parents. And um, that would be a good summer read, huh? I got that one. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day and take good care. All right. Bye.